Hey guys, so today we're going to answer a subscriber question. Yes, and the question in question is, Frederick, why do you use Express.js instead of something like Adonis or Sales, for example? So let's get into it. Well, to put it bluntly to you, the reason why I use Express instead of these higher level frameworks that for Node.js, like web server development, if you will, these web frameworks, is because it is very, very, very popular. And what's even more important is that it's very minimalistic. Now, a lot this it's actually interesting because the person that I had this discussion with <clears throat> actually argued that the pro that's the problem from his perspective that hey express is so minimalistic and you have to build everything from scratch and well more or less and something like these higher frameworks they actually give you a lot of stuff for free like models and route generation and all these nice CLI tools that creates this kind of for you and you see that's the thing and that's the thing I told him that's a bad thing it's a really bad thing depending on your viewpoint, of course. But let me just walk you through it. So <clears throat> the thing is, when you have a very good understanding of the scope of the application that you are building, having convenient tools is a great thing. In other words, if you are very certain that the project that you are going to build has a very defi well-defined lifespan, it's going to be a say let's call it a small scoped product it's perfect for say a project that has uh, let's say agencies or consultancies who are just kind of you know they got a client the client needs something within a few months and the scope is very well defined and you know what the stakes are then it's perfect if it's going to save you some time because you have a how do I put this you you create the thing and then you ship it that's it and you can already at the start you can already see where the finish line is but 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 if you are working on a large project long-running project for a real IT company you're not just helping you're not just going client to client you're actually working at an IT company this is very very bad because you do not know I'm sorry to say where the end line is there's no finish line you're going to maintain and continue developing this platform for quite a while and the thing with software is that the less or rather the more there is of it the more likely you are to mess things up and that's why I prefer to have a very minimalistic framework if I need a dependency of any type I wanted to do exactly the thing that I needed to do to save me that very little piece of time and nothing more because the more code I have, the more likely things are to go wrong. A good example of this is that there are tons of times when I've been hindered, like I've lost productivity at my company and I've had all these different issues with upgrading other dependencies because the library that somebody added is incompatible with another dependency that is even more important for us to actually upgrade or to maintain at the very least. And that's something that really frustrates me when I have this big haul, so this, all, this, all these headaches, because a library provider has created a solution for something, and one of my coworkers, or you know, sometimes it's even been myself, have, we've added this thing in, right? And now it's causing us all these problems, not because we need the damn thing, but because we, we have added it, and now it's very hard for us to change it. And imagine if you have a framework solution and all of a sudden the decisions that has been made on behalf of the project, or rather the dependency that you have, that framework, if that's too opinionated, you might find out that, hey, the thing that you need, the thing that your specific use case is going to have to support is very tricky and very almost, almost a corner case in the eyes of the framework provider. And if that happens, you're gonna have to go through quite a lot of hassle to, and jump through quite a lot of hoops just to support it or just to add it in. And that's the thing with having more stuff than you need. It always comes back and bites you in the ass because the goal, in my personal opinion, when it comes to software, is to have as little as possible all the time. 
you should have exactly what you need in order to deliver the project or deliver, uh, to, to work. Maximize your efficiency and all that good stuff. And this idea, which I think is such a bad idea, because, and that's kind of where I feel about what I feel about these higher level frameworks, in, especially in JavaScript land. You have this entire community of people who add in a bunch of bullshit libraries just because they want a bit of convenience. That's the only, like, don't give me that every single library you have in your stack is critical to the productivity of your framework, of your project, because I don't believe it. There are tons of these, and that's what I like about Express. Express is the lowest, um, if you don't want to go all the way down to actually writing everything in vanilla, like just in plain old Node, you could do that as well, but I think that may be going a little bit too far. But you can, of course. Another good reason as to why I urge, especially beginners, to avoid using higher level abstractions or too much abstraction, because that's, that's the thing, right? There is a sweet spot to these things, at least in my mind. Abstractions have a sweet spot. If you have too little abstraction, you create a lot of frustration and you slow down productivity. If you have too much abstraction, you risk those abstractions getting in your way at some point. And for a beginner, it's even worse. Because if you have too much magic going on, odds are that you will actually not learn how something works. You will simply learn the abstraction. I swear, you have an army of people who are WordPress developers, Django developers, Ruby on Rails developer, like they even use that, or Laravel developers, like whatever. They actually have this framework name in their job title. And the reason is simple, because that's the whole focus area for them. And the danger with that is that you are likely, if you get stuck in that type of way of working, to be the sort of person who, I mean, if I give you a project where you need to use, say, sales, or let's take Ember, for example, front end. If you use Ember, for example, that's also quite a lot of magic. Odds are that you might find yourself in a situation where you simply know the Ember commands, you know the terms for that framework, and then I come and ask you, build that thing from scratch in vanilla JavaScript, or build it from, uh, build it, uh, whatever, just to be in something else. And you may not be even be able to do it, because you may realize that, although you think that you understand how things work, you don't actually understand it. All you know are the abstractions. This is very common. I see, I've seen plenty of developers who, you know, they know the command for certain tools and they know what that's going to pr produce, but they have absolutely no idea how it works. And that's the thing you're going for here, guys. Companies don't care if you, what tools you know. They don't care about you being able to produce results in the tool that they are using. And that's why it's so important that you don't get stuck using two high level abstractions and rather you focus on learning how things actually work because you may find that the tool that you like so much that is making you so productive is not the tool at the job that you're looking or the job that you're applying for it might be complete a completely different tool and then what are you going to do the company's not going to switch over to your tool they're going to use what they're using. And that's why I use Express, because it is the most popular one out there, and it's the thing that keeps things as bare bone as possible. So I have the most amount of flexibility, and I get an understanding of how Node.js and how, these, how this platform actually, like I can build things from nothing, as low level as possible. And if I need more convenience, then I opt into something like Adonis or say or so forth. But I don't start out there. You add as much as you need, but you never add more than you need. Have a great day.